In today's beauty industry, people are willing to spend a lot of money to achieve the perfect look. However, back in the Victorian era, people had their own set of beauty tricks that were not only toxic to their health but also downright dangerous. In this video, we're going to explore some of the shocking toxic beauty tricks from the Victorian era, one of the most popular beauty trends in the Victorian era was wearing pale makeup. In order to achieve the desired look, women would apply a mixture of lead and vinegar to their faces. Not only did this lead to skin irritation and rashes, but also lead poisoning, which caused neurological problems, paralysis, and other severe health issues. Another common tactic was to create the illusion of having a wasp waist. Women would wear a tight corset that would push their organs up towards their ribs. Corsets were so tight that they created deformities and caused women to faint from lack of air. To add drama to their appearance, women would use belladonna drops in their eyes to dilate the pupils. Belladonna is a poisonous plant that causes hallucinations, delirium, and even death when ingested, while hair removal is a common practice today, women in the Victorian era used dangerous strategies such as applying arsenic or lye-based creams to their skin. Both of these substances are highly poisonous and caused severe burns. Scarring and hair loss, even the hair dye was toxic. Women would use a mixture of lead, sulfur, and quicklime to achieve a blonde hue. This made their hair brittle and often caused baldness. The Victorian era was also a time of extreme fashion, and it was important to have the perfect silhouette. To achieve this, women would wear crinoline skirts, which were made up of several layers of fabric and hoop skirts. But since the crinoline was highly flammable, women would often catch fire and burn to death. These beauty trends from the Victorian era may seem crazy, but it's not too far off from some of the beauty trends that we see today. It's important to be aware of the ingredients in the products that we use and to make sure that they are safe for us to use. Hey guys, I came here in the middle of the video, asking you to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, because there is a lot of special content every day. Keep watching. So there you have it, some of the most toxic beauty tricks from the Victorian era. It's important to remember that beauty should never come at the cost of your health, as we reflect on these dangerous beauty trends from the past, we can learn to appreciate the advancements in the beauty industry today. With the rise of natural and organic products, people are now more conscious of the ingredients they put on their skin, hair, and nails. Brands are also creating safer and more sustainable alternatives for traditional beauty practices. Moreover, beauty is now celebrated in all its forms, and people are encouraged to feel beautiful in their natural state. Rather than conforming to societal beauty standards, People are encouraged to embrace their unique features and express themselves in a way that makes them feel confident and comfortable. In conclusion, we can learn a lot from the beauty mistakes of the past. While they may seem absurd now, they remind us of the importance of prioritizing our health and well-being over superficial beauty ideals. By being mindful of what we put in and on our bodies, we can not only look our best but also feel our best.